What is up guys, it is Gris Gamer here, and today I'm doing a story time video. Now this is going to be a very spooky story time video, because I'm going to be talking about some ghost stories that have happened to me in the past. Not like telling ghost stories, but just basically creepy things that have happened, like mostly involving ghosts. So there are a lot of things that happen that we can't really explain, and uh, you know, just like are sort of weird, right? And I've only had like one thing like this happened to me and a few happened to my parents but they're not really crazy and outrageous like uh most people's right Beca but it's still something that was very creepy in the moment so i thought i'd relive these in what better place my dark basement alone so yeah and this is not a live commentary today this is going to be a nice um just the commentary that i'm doing over some gameplay in the background it's some black ops one stuff i do really good in the beginning but after a while it, I don't do too, very well. But, you know, it's it's not the gameplay that matters, it's the stories. So first off, let's start with a story of my own. So, back when I was a bit younger, I didn't have the bed I have now. Now I have a bunk bed, and I always sleep at the top bunk, this being the reason why. So, I was just, you know, chilling out, nighttime. When I woke up, I, I used to wake up in the middle of the night a lot, like, a lot. I still do every once in a while, but back then I used to do it quite a bit. So I woke up. And I'm like, hmm, I wonder why I woke up. Well, I better try to get back to sleep. And I suddenly I hear, like, sort of pawing or scratching around under my bed. And then my radio turns on. And I used to have an old radio. So I just had to check behind me there because I'm, like, really freaking freaking myself out right now. Uh, uh, so I used to have an old radio, right? And all it would do was play static because there was no actual frequency or anything connected to it. So I just decided, hmm. Uh, I'd keep it under my bed. So it was under my bed, and it turned on. I'm like, oh, well, must have just been my dog. Because she was a puppy back then, and she could fit under there. She must be just down there. So I thought, hey, maybe I could pick her up, you know, just talk to her for a bit, pet her, because I talk to my dogs. I'm not weird, I swear. Uh, anyways, so I was like, oh, yeah, look under. She is not there. There is nothing under my bed. And I swear I heard clear, like, scratching or moving around noises under it. And at this point, I'm really freaked out. So I'm like, oh, well, okay. Um, that's not weird at all. Sorry if I pause. I just keep to check behind me because I keep freaking myself out. So I'm like really weirded out at this point. So I'm just think sitting there thinking, a ghost's going to murder me, okay? And then, you know, I barely slept the rest of the night. I mean, I stayed up. I fell asleep. There are, that's what happens most of the time. If I'm really scared, I'll just stay up till it's so unbearable that I just have to fall asleep. Um, anyways, so yeah, and I, I don't know if it was just a paranoia, but I swear I heard, like, every single noise sounded weird. It was really, really just freaky in general. I hate stuff like that. Anyways, so, uh, the next story I'd like to tell was, i just gonna go in order of, like, if they happen in my house, and I'm gonna do one or maybe two from my mom when she wasn't living here. So anyways, so, uh, my dad, uh, as many of you know, if you're friends of mine a long time ago, and this is actually a really emotional thing, so, he, uh, really hurt his leg in a mining accident, and he really just can barely walk now. But back when it first happened, he was on a lot of pain medication. So this was around the time in October, so I don't know if this was just the medication playing tricks on him, or something real. So anyways, uh, okay, this one's really freaky, so just, I, God, I checked behind myself. Ooh, I have a punching bag behind me too, and it looks like a real person, so I always freak myself out. Anyways, so I'm just, uh, he, one night, he woke up in the middle of the night, because he used to be in pain a lot, and he would wake up, and he saw a woman in a nightgown just walking around, doing whatever, and he woke my mom. And he said, Jeanette, go back to bed. If you don't know, that's my mom's name. And my mom poked him and said she was right be beside him. So my mom was still in the bed. And he saw a random woman just walking around outside in a nightgown inside of our house. So, And he looked back up and she wasn't there anymore. And that freaks me out so much. And then, so, uh, yeah, and then this happened to my mother as well. One day she was just home alone, you know, doing her thing, doing the, what mothers do, I guess. And then suddenly she looked out the window and she saw someone walk into our garage, like just walk into it. 
and she thought she'd locked the door, so she went she went out, looked opened the garage door, looked in, and there was nobody there. Like not a soul. This one also creeps me out as well. Uh so then she once my dad came home, she uh asked, Hey, did you come home earlier and go in the garage? And he said, What? No. What are you talking about? So this one really that one really freaked me out a lot. I just hate hearing stuff like that, especially when it's about our own house. Now this one isn't um like about our house per se but this is something that had that my my mother had happened to her when she was a lot younger uh which was pretty creepy anyways so she was at a friend's house and they were asleep and her friend's dad had just died which i i get really sad about whenever i hear this story but anyways so her friend's dad had just died and they were asleep in their basement and then they woke up, and they saw someone standing at the foot of her bed, and it was their friend's dad. And this one just blows my mind, because I have a fear of that. I have a fear of, like, some Jared from Subway-looking guy just, like, in the middle of the night coming up to my bed and being like, Hey, kid, you want some free Subway? So, yeah, that really freaks me out all the time. Like, oh, my God. I just, it, it always freaks me out. So, I hope you enjoyed hearing some of the ghost stories. Actually, wait. Let me th see if I could think of one more. This is a popular one that my mom likes to tell me a lot. So she was she was really young in her house in Nova Scotia. She's had quite a few. And she was just sitting in her bed. And she remembered waking up and looking down at her porch. Like, I'm literally getting shivers talking about this. Oh, my contract expired in the middle of stuff. Anyways, so uh, just she woke up and she looked out on her porch. And she had a rocking chair. And no one was in it. And it was just rocking back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And this always freaks me out. And she woke up her mom. And that was still happening. So, yeah, I hate hearing about stuff like that. And she says, no, I was calm because I knew who it was. I knew who was my grandfather. And I'm like, I don't care. What if it was a murderer? Some, like, insidious type stuff. Anyways, so I hope you guys all enjoyed this creepy video. I'm just going to go, like, never have sleep again. And, uh, yeah, if you liked it, click the like button, and I'll see all you guys when you like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!